Hi guys, you are on varam24.com and today we will disassemble the smartphone Samsung Galaxy S22. At the very beginning we need to remove the card tray. For this we take a special tool, insert it into the hole and push out the card tray. After that we need to heat the surface of the back cover to a temperature of about 70 Celsius degree or 160 degree Fahrenheit. For this we use a heating mat, you can use a hair dryer. And after 5 or 7 minutes we can move on to the assembly. To remove the back cover we will use a plastic film. This is the protective film from the new display. We insert it into the gap between the middle cover and the back cover and run it along the back cover detaching it. We should always be careful in the area of the side buttons because in this area there may be cables and they can be damaged. We also need to be careful in the area of the cameras so as not to touch or damage the lenses. As we can see the back core is additionally glued in the area of the cameras. And we open the back cover. On the cover we have the flashlight elements. After that we need to unscrew some of the screws at the top. We use a 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver or hash 3 o This will allow us to get to the battery connector that we need to disconnect. And with a non-metal tool we need to disconnect the wireless charging connector and lift this part of the cover that hides the motherboard. We bend the assembly with a speaker NFC and wireless charging to the side and use a non-metal tool to disconnect the battery connector. And we move on to unscrewing the screws at the bottom. The screwdriver is the same, 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver. These screws seem to be all the same, but we still recommend placing them on a special surface in an easy to remember order for assembly. And we can detach the cover with a speaker. We find the right and proper place to pry the cover and lift it off. And we can remove the whole assembly. Then we disconnect the connectors on the subboard and motherboard. And remove the two interboard cables and the display cable. For the assembly, it is written on the cables how they should be placed. And we need to unscrew the three screws holding the subboard in place. The screwdriver is the same 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver. And now we can detach the subboard. Carefully hook over the edge and pull it out. The subboard is slightly recessed and I glue it a little. On the subboard we have the charging port, microphone and the car's holder on the back side. Since the microphone hole is next to the car tray, we need to check if we will damage the microphone if we insert the tool into the hole. As we can see, the hole in the middle cover is L-shaped. At the end of the hole there is a gasket and a mesh that are located perpendicular to the hole and pressed against the subboard 
and the microphone hole. And the microphone itself is located on the other side. One conclusion can be done in such a way to damage the microphone through this hole is impossible. Then we disconnect the connector of the side buttons and bend the cable away. And we unscrew the remaining screws that hold the motherboard, cameras and cover with antennas. The screwdriver is the same, Philips hash 3 -O. After that, we can detach the cover with antennas. We hook it by the edge and remove it. Before removing the motherboard, we need to disconnect the front camera connector. Disconnect the connector, bend the cable and we can detach the motherboard. After that, we take out the motherboard and turn it over. Now we need to detach the rear cameras. The cameras are attached to each other. This point should be taken into account and we should be careful. So this is the end of our disassembly. Thank you for watching and see you around or in the next video. Okay guys, now we're done. Thank you for watching. If you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel or read our articles on our website. Take care of yourself and until the next video. All I need are some better days, cause all I want and I pray, I believe in the better days.